Morning. Zero pence here. Everybody will recognise one of these who's been in the military and who hasn't because it's an X-Me burner. And uh, I was looking around at some kit today that I've been given. And this I've been, my son had been given this by um, James Bushcraft Blacksmith. I was looking at it. And as I was looking at it, something fell on my head. <laughs> and it was this. <laughs> Boot polish. And that fits in there like that and that gave me an idea now don't know whether it'll work but I'm gonna go away and play for a couple of minutes now as you can see I've drilled an array of holes in this I don't know whether it'll work because I've never seen one made out of a boot polished tin but obviously someone's going to tell me they have and um, if they have I'll be interested to see the video because <laughs> I don't know whether this will work. Now, next thing, a little bit of preparation of the inner. I have an idea for that, and um, I don't know whether it will work or not. So, a little bit of cane, and I'll be back. And then here is a wick, still band to hold it in place, and uh, I'm going to fill it. Push the lid on and light it and see what happens. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, back to the drawing board. But I think it will. Now I filled up and as you can see it's full. So just up to the steel ring inside. To the top of that with alcohol. The wick is well wet and I'm now going to try and light it and see what happens. Never know. I don't know whether it'll work or it won't. There's plenty of air in there. There's holes enough to um, make the thing burn. Let's just hope for, hopefully there's not too many. But I think I've done it right. I hope you can see that. This is made from a couple of bits of stainless steel mug and a shoe polish container. And the vessel that's on there with the handle is one a one cup measure it's an official one cup measure and what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil that and I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee um, it's not been on there very long and I don't think it'll have to be on there very long as you can see it's burning away quite nicely again just it just does what it does <laughs> The wick's burning. I've put no holes in it round the top because it's a little bit uneven. And um, I'm just um, seeing how it behaves. And it's behaving very well at the moment. So, and the wick is nice and wet. And the old bulbs are starting to fall on the bottom already. So I'm going to go and prepare my cup of coffee and see how this goes. Well, I went, I went down to the kitchen, put the ingredients for my cup of coffee in there, came back and it was doing this. So, not bad. It's been about five minutes, maybe a little bit less than that, and it's boiling away. Well, you can see I've put it out and made a cup of coffee. There it is. Works fantastic, really does work well as you would have realized the uh, drilling that I did in this and uh, the making of it it don't work there is a way of making it work and I'm going to work on that later but not at the moment but that one works really well and going inside one of these and you saw how, how quick that boiled that cup of water and that was a proper measured cup of water so and it's got in there and you see it does fill up the cup quite well and I was really pleased with that I would like some uh, picking that up sorry about the noise my next door neighbour is um, doing some work in his kitchen but as you can see I've got it to work 
and I'll explain how in a little while. Now having made this function with the jets, I'm not happy with it because it doesn't actually fit properly at the moment. And um, what I'm going to do is I've made another lid. All I've done is just, as you can see, just drill some holes in it. But I've drilled more holes in it this time. To give it two rows of jets and see what happens. That bit of metal in the middle there is just to lift it off because the pot I was using just stands on there like that. And that's all you see. It just keeps it proud of the of the things by about a quarter of an inch. That's all I needed. So you could improvise if you were, um, uh, I'm sure, if you was out. Because these are improvised stoves. It's made out of a polished tin. You can punch the holes with a, an awl if you wanted to. I've drilled these because I've got a drill press. But you wouldn't have one out in the woods and you can, I know, punch them out as long as you have it that way. Don't try and punch them out that way, you'll distort the lid. Punch them that way so they punch through and up to the top then you can rub them down on a rock or something and then away you go and when I say rub them down on a rock I'm not joking an old brick or something like that you can rub that down and get the birds off anyway that's improvisation but this is performing well but I believe this one that I've just finished will perform a lot better and we're about to find out Well, I hope you can see that. It's got a rock wall inside the polished tin and uh, all the jets are alight. As you can see, filming like that, you can see that all the jets are alight and there's two rings of jets and they're all alight. There's a hole in the middle and that isn't on fire. So, I'm really pleased, really pleased with that. It was just a little thing that I wanted to do. As you can see, if I've got a big pot, I can put it on top of that. It's burning away quite like, well, it's burning around really lovely. Um, if I get that little block of steel that I had a little while ago, I can drop that into the middle of that and um, uh, boil a cup of water, which I think is what I'm going to do now. Well, there it is, it's a light all round. As you can see, I filled it up. It's a cup, exactly a cup of water to cut measure and uh, see how long it takes we have a rolling boil in no longer than five minutes so I just walk down again to uh, do the thing and you can see how well lit that is it's lovely it's two jet rows of jets on that as well uh, it's got rock wall in it fill it up with fuel you can take the lid off and fill the fuel up if you want and then just press the lid back on again um, and that's what it's doing and there's my cup and I'm about to have a cup of coffee. I don't know how I can... And that's not hot, so... I'll pour that into there. That way. And show you that it was a cup of coffee. A cup of water. Proper cup of water. It's a lovely little thing to actually pour water in, actually. I never thought of it before. <laughs> Funny how you've got things around. But you can see all the jets are alight on that and it's a really nice burner to put inside your thing and it, all, all it takes is i know i've got a pillar drill but you can do that with a dremel but it's quick <laughs> and there you are and there's one hole in the middle to fill it if you want to fill it through there if not just put a coin on the top of it i put that bit of metal because it was keeping the uh that up off of the surface of it which was enough but i put the two little staves inside here and put the mug on it in the end and uh yeah so i'm well pleased i've made two the two rings of a light one in the middle and one on the outside edge and get down and show that look at that you see it burning away that's really cool i'm really pleased with it and it's got some rock wall that uh, was left over from doing my loft. I'm now going to have my cup of coffee and oh that really is nice <laughs>
what to do on a lazy Sunday afternoon. And that's what I've been doing. Just messing about with a couple of old polished tins and a bit of wicking. But this wicking was bought by mistake. It's very thin, and you get four pieces of it for two pound. But it's too thin for um, doing the fancy face ones. It's not wide enough at all. It's only about well, you know how thick a polished tin is. But it, I just wanted to see if it could do it, and it does. It does it really well, and it burns quite well as well. Yeah, quite a fast boil on one cup of water. It was less than four minutes, really. But that is an exact cup of water, which doesn't fill my mug. I've been drinking a little bit, but you, well, you know, you can see the long near where it was. It doesn't really do that, but it's enough. Cup, cupful's enough. So, there you are. And one thing is that the um, uh, the burner is in there. It's all closed up. As you can see. I'm really happy with that. You can put that in your pack. It's not going anywhere. Basically. Fill it up when you get there. And as I say, you can fill it up by taking the lid. By taking the top off which I will show you now and there you can see the rock wall and uh, that burning on it is not the rock wall that's the paint off of the uh, lid that's burnt through the holes but that's nothing so there you can see the lid with all the holes in it twin jets and the large hole filling it if you want to but you can take it off like this fill it up soak it put the lid back on and it don't spill all everywhere or anything like that and then use it again burn away you'll be surprised how much it holds it it holds quite a lot i used a five mil measurement put that in there and it boiled a cup of water easy and it hasn't run out it's still that's still quite moist that so there you are all back together again also with this uh, wick burn burner version it's very low profile and it actually fits in there and you can close the leaves down shut it up you can't do that with a normal fancy face one but you can do it with this so you can carry it around in there with a few extra blocks as well well, this is a great stand for putting a pot on anyway it's tried and true and there's the other little burner and that fits in there where it closed as well so because of the profile of it and it don't well how much does a tin of polish weigh hardly anything and that that does the job uh, so there they are the two pieces of kit that i've been working on today you go perfect so there they are the two bits of kit that I've been working on today oh, I'm pleased with that and it's only it's only been a couple of hours or I've just been missing about probably about two hours at the most just playing about and here we are and I've had two cups of coffee in that time, so really nice. It's a lazy day. <laughs> it's been nice as well. The sun's been shining, the blue skies. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs>